Welcome back to the Cobra Energy Drink Ironman 70.3 Philippines. The much awaited day has finally arrived. Pre race routines are being conducted and final preparations are taking place. In a few minutes, the athletes will be embarking on a journey that not too long ago seemed like a remote possibility. There weren't guys involved in this, there was one man, and that's Fred Intensu, and it was his idea. Um, and he uh, had worked for quite some time to make this a reality. And sometime towards the end of 2008, Fred and I hooked up. And I was able to move this idea through our system and make it a reality. It's going to be great. Awesome. You win. Okay. You win. What time is it? <laughs> Get it done. <laughs> Ironman is the holy grail of, of triathlon, and every triathlete aspires to be able to, to do an Ironman. The reality is that uh, in the Philippines, not a lot of people have that opportunity to travel abroad to do it. So over the last two years, we've worked really hard uh, to get the franchise from the World Triathlon Corporation, who are the owners of the Ironman brand, and bring an Ironman 70.3 here to the Philippines. So it's, it's really a dream come true uh, for the Philippines, uh, for me personally and to be able to share the experience of an Ironman with everyone. An Ironman event here in the Philippines is a dream come true indeed, and it leaves everyone with no choice but to cherish every single moment of it. For the pros, like New Zealand's Terenzo Bozzone, their Ironman experience may be nothing new, but their passion for it just keeps on growing. So I got started in triathlon about 2000, uh, 1999, 2000. Um, I was a swimmer before that, so breaststroke swimmer, national breaststroke champion down in New Zealand. And I was wakeboarding actually behind behind a, a boat one summer and I landed on my head and popped my eardrum. So I wasn't allowed swimming for, for a few months and I started doing duathlon, so running, biking and running. And just, just loved the sport. So when I was allowed to swim again, I yeah, just, just gave triathlons a go and, and I was hooked. Ironman world champ Chris McCormack and USA's Tim Marr still remember the day they fell for the sport. I think I got started in triathlon um, in 1993. My father and I saw an event in, in Australia and thought that would be something fun to do. I grew up surfing and, and running in Australia and, and triathlon was very centred around the beach in my country and it was quite a new, new sport in that time and uh, I was drawn to it. I thought it was a good challenge and I've uh, been doing it ever since. For me, it's definitely a different story probably than any other pro you're going to meet. I got started because my dad uh, did the first, actually he did the second Ironman ever on Oahu, because I'm from Oahu, and it was just something my dad really looked up to, and, and I thought, you know, watching these pros, and I, I was really amazed by the sport. It wasn't until my early 20s that I started to get involved in triathlon, and, and then uh, Maybe like three years after starting it, I decided to try to do it professionally and, and then just developed to where I got to do uh, Ironman Hawaii as a professional and so now it's, uh, it's been just so much fun and fun ride. The race is about to begin. The participants flock the starting line at the lakefront of the daunting Lago del Rey as they get in position to take on the first of three tough courses lying ahead. The first leg of the swim course will take the competitors clockwise around the big lake. After completing 1.22 kilometers, they will sprint to the CWC Cable Park and do an additional 580 meter counterclockwise swim. The bike course, running at 90 kilometers, will take the competitors from CWC to the Nato port, which is the turnaround point. And finally, the run course will be the ultimate test of endurance, as it takes the competitors through 21.1 kilometers of countryside. Athletes will need to do two counterclockwise loops, with each loop measuring 10 kilometers. We're gonna give them 10 seconds. Are you ready? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The inaugural.
inaugural Cobra Energy Drink Ironman 70.3 Philippines has officially begun. The professionals are first to head for the water. Behind them, off a mass start, are the Filipino elite athletes and the age groupers. The pros are up to the task early on, covering impressive distance in no time. The rest are holding their own, matching their more accomplished counterparts, if not with skill, but with passion and intensity. Strength and endurance are obviously key factors in the swim. However, their mindset and their attitude towards the water are just as vital. I'm not the fastest swimmer, but I have no fear of the water. I don't care if it's huge waves, I don't care if it's choppy, I don't care if there's sharks or jellyfish. Like, I'm not scared of any of that. Just try and just be really, really focused and just concentrate on what I'm doing and not too worried about everyone else. Um, and just focus on the moment. You know, when I'm swimming, I just think about swimming. More of Ironman 70.3 Philippines when we return.